Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick example with probabilities when we're just given the percents. Uh, so I've had a lot of questions with these about, you know, what do we do if we just have the percents instead of, you know, the sample size and the number of outcomes in each, uh, in each event? Well, if you're given the percentage, they just kind of save you a step. So suppose that I have a factory, die, a factory that produces colored dice. So my factory produces yellow, green, and blue dice. So of the yellow dice, I've got 25%. Green, I've got 40%, and blue, I've got 35%. All right, so we're able to kind of go through this and just extract the probabilities that we need. So suppose that we draw a single dice at random. So that's kind of be this first one. What's the probability of a single not being green? All right, well, we can rewrite that as that is the same thing saying the probability of green, and we can do complement. So it's, if I put that little C up high here, I can actually do that too. So if I highlight that guy, and we go to give me just a second. There it is. Okay, right, and we'll make that a superscript so that you can see that it's a green complement. So single, not green, that's the same thing as saying probability of a single green complement and so that is equal to one minus the probability of green we'd also do it as the probability of green and blue together but we'll see that in just a second okay so let's figure out how to how to calculate that so we're just going to do equals one minus because we're going to do the complement and then the probability of green is 0.4 and we'll hit enter and so it's 0.6 is our probability of a single not being green all right, so this next one down is the probability of three not green. So what that is going to equal, it's going to be the probability of a single not green multiplied by, okay, now we have to understand, is, are these independent or dependent events? Well, since we're at a factory, they've probably got a million of dice there. It really doesn't even matter if we do with replacement or without replacement because the, sand, the population size is so large from which we're drawing uh, that it really doesn't matter if we do with replacement or, with wrap with, or without replacement. Now, if we had a small number of dice, like let's say 10 or something, it would really matter, and we'd have to determine if we're dealing with a dependent or independent example. All right, so I'm going to just multiply that guy three times out, a single dot green, three times. Okay, so what I can do is I can multiply this guy by itself three times, and that's the probability that three of your, if you draw three, that all of them are not green. So we just, we took the probability of a single not green and multiplied it by itself three times, or you could cube it in this case as well. Okay, so now we want to know of at least one green, I should put like of three. Okay, so we've got three. Now this is, this is the hard one that a lot of people had problems with, figuring out how to get there. Okay, so if we start off Let's actually add one in. Let's do the probability of green. Okay, so if we want the probability of green, that is just going to equal 0.04. All right, so then a single not green is just the complement, one minus 0.04. No, instead of typing that out, I'm going to just click on this single not green. Three not green. All right, and then if you have at least one green, that is the same thing as saying one minus the probability of three not green. That's because if if you don't have three green, if you have if you have three that are not green, the complement of that is that at least one of them is green. Okay, great. So in order to do that, we just say equals one minus this probability above, and we can hit enter. And so that's how you would go through and calculate that at least in at least one green. So you have to start off with the green, you take the complement of it to get single not green, you get your three not green, and then to get at least one green of three, you take a complement of the one above. Okay, so kind of the last one that we're doing here, we'll do a single uh, green or blue. So we just got a single draw, and then it's either green or blue. This one's really simple. This is gonna be equal to the probability of a green <clears throat> plus the probability of a blue. For the single draw, what's the probability that it's either a green or a blue? And we can add those guys together. 
and we have 0.75. So anyhow, I hope that that helps you out a little bit with some of these probabilities going through some of these examples, and good luck.